my pupil. Wonderful, darling. Simply divine. Another incomparable evening of music and fine, loving friends. I wish it would never end. Won't you and Tracy be staying the night? Oh, thank you, Mr. Weiss, but I can't. I have a doctor's appointment at the crack of dawn tomorrow morning. But I don't want to disappoint Tracy. I know she has her heart set on one last lesson with Carl before he embarks on his European tour. Well, he, he's not leaving for another week. I can come back another time. Nonsense, darling. Why should you lose out because I have these awful migraines to deal with? You stay. Uh, that is, if it's all right with you, Mrs. Weiss. Of course. I'll have the maid prepare the guest room. Are you sure you don't want me to come with you? Yes, of course I'm sure. You know, I'm very pleased at the way you and Carl have taken to each other. Well, he's a great teacher. I like him. You play your cards right. You'll be living in this house someday. Don't you think you're rushing things just a little? Be sure he doesn't forget you while he's away on tour. He's a very good catch. Hmm? Oh, and be careful, dear. I'm far too young to be a grandmother. Good night. Oh, yes, Mrs. DeCaro, one moment, please. Hi, Mom. I'd like to know where those awful tapes came from. Mm. What, what, what tapes are you talking about? The tapes in the car. Oh, those. I don't understand you. We work so hard to make everything perfect, to make you perfect. You could be another Van Cliburn, but when you don't respect the music or your God-given talent... I am sorry. You know how much Carl hates that kind of music. Don't ruin things with him. Good night. Good night.
I don't have any money to get it. And you what? <sighs> Richardson to Carlo, can you hold, please? Richardson to Carlo, escrow, good morning. No, Ms. DiCarlo is not here. No, no plates. Get a trace of the vehicle ID number. Uh, wait a minute, they're bringing the body up now. She has an 18-year-old daughter and an ex-husband she hasn't spoken to in over a year. But I... Yes, I'll call them. Police. They found Eleanor's car in the river. Got a body. It's at the morgue. That's Eleanor DeCarlo. Any idea we want to do a thing like this? I can't believe it. Poor Tracy. Probably my mother. Hello? Is Mr. Carlo there? Yes, one moment, please. Tracy. Yes? Mr. Carlo, this is the police. Who? I'm afraid there's been a terrible accident involving your mother. We need you to come no. Very sorry about your mother. Thank you. Is there anything you can think of that could help us? No. I can't. Tracy, you your know? father's here. Yeah. Hello, Tracy. I'm Bill Richardson. Oh, thanks for calling. Tracy, I'll wait for you outside. There's no need. My father's here. You... You're all grown up. It's what happens. Yeah, I guess so. Excuse me, but I think I should call my boyfriend. Well, 
I'll, uh, I'll wait for you. station. Calm down. I need you here. Did, did you do it? Yes. Who do you think? I need you. I need you to hold me. I'll be there soon. My father's still outside? Yes. Where will you be staying? My boyfriend John's house. You can get an address for me. I don't know what happened. I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to know anything. You shouldn't have called me from the police station. I'm sorry. I had to talk to you. I didn't know what else to do. I was scared. I'll get it, son. already? Oh, maybe. Uh, is uh, John Tracy here? The cop from the station. Yeah, I see you. Uh, what does he want? Then he's asking about John? us, both of us. John! Tracy! Oh, my God. It's all right. It's all right. We can handle this. I went to your house to feed your cat. That's it. John, come down here, will you, please? God, I'm so scared for you, John. I love you so much. So, you say the first you heard of Eleanor's death was from Tracy when she called you from here, is that right? Yes. We have some notes on Tracy's phone call to you, and um, I don't see where Tracy told you about the murder at all. Oh, well, she did. I'm sure she did. What did she mean by, did you do it? Well, she meant, did I feed her cat? I always take care of it when the Dicarlos are away. I have a key. Tracy always worries about her cat. I got along really well. And we certainly had our disagreements, but there, there was no trouble between us. When you asked John if he did it, what did that mean? Well, the cat. I wanted to be sure that he had fed my cat while we were away. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't smell right to me. They're yeah, just a couple of kids. Yeah? Well, I want to know why they're so nervous. I want to know where they are every minute. Mr. Thompson, I have breakfast for you. Oh, thanks, Tracy. No time. So, everything's all straightened out with the police now, right? Yeah, Dad. Everything's cool. They just said it was routine. They shouldn't be putting you through this, Tracy. Enough is enough. I know. Thanks. We'll see you both tonight? Yeah. 
Bye, son. Bye. Oh, hi, Laura. Come on. Gotta get to work. Oh, Tracy. Tracy. Uh, I'm fine, Laura. My mom said everyone can come back to our house after the funeral. Mm, no, I want to have it at my house. Okay, that's okay. But you can stay with us if you like. Mm, my father wants me to stay with him and his new wife. And What do you want? Well, I'll... I'll stay there. Okay. I gotta go. You gonna be okay? No, I'll be fine. I've got you guys. I've got my mom's car. Is there anywhere you need to go? Tracy? Tracy? I'm sorry, what? I've got my mom's car. Anywhere you need to go? No. Mm, let's go inside. Johnny killed my mother. Are you crazy? My mother was trying to break us up. He couldn't take it anymore. I can't believe it. It's true. Johnny's not a murderer. Look at these. These are the license plates from my mom's car. Look, he did it. He told me. No. I won't listen to this. It's not true. Look, I don't know what to do anymore. Help me. What are we going to do? My mother's dead, and Johnny killed her, but I still love him. Look, I had to tell you, I had to tell someone. Please don't hate me. I don't hate you. If we don't tell anybody, nobody will know. And so we won't tell, and it'll be our secret, promise? Look, you have to promise. It's for Johnny, please. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, Tracy. It is. Okay, you have to. Come on, it's for Johnny, please. Okay. I promise. Why isn't it open? It's not usual. I want it open. Tracy. I want to see her. Side. You take your time.
at you. Brush your hair out of your face and look at you. You're a mess. I can't take you anywhere looking like that. Tracy, I don't know what's happened to you in that dress, but you're starting to look like a fat little pig. It looks ridiculous. Go and change into your navy dress. You'll feel better if you change. And Mommy will feel better, too. Go on. Tracy, are you all right? I guess. Have you heard from your father? No, not since last night. You are so good for looking after me. This must be very hard for you, too. I was very fond of your mother. We go back a long way. Yeah, I know. Would you rather we did this another time? No. No, I'd like to get it over with now. I'll get the rest of the papers. Okay. Just about enough of your impertinence. I planned every moment of this party. My guests are at the door, and they expect you to play the piano. You will not disappoint us. Get out here now, young lady. If you don't come out this instant, I am going to have this door sealed forever. You will never get out, Tracy. You will rot in there. found everything. I don't know how I'm going to pay all these bills. As usual, your mother had everything figured to the penny. After all the debts are paid, there should be around 300000 in the estate, and it all goes to you. I'd rather have my mother back. Hello? Hi, it's your dad. Hi, dad. I don't think it's gonna work out. You know how it goes. I see. Is it a problem? No, no, it's, it's, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I hope it's not gonna cause too many problems. Yeah, well, thanks. I've, I've gotta get going now. Bye. My father's wife doesn't want me to stay with them. Doesn't matter. I'll be all right here. Our prayers now are ended, and we bid a last farewell. There is a sadness in the parting, but it should fill us with new hope. 
for one day we shall see our sister again and enjoy her love. By God's mercy, we who leave this church today in sorrow will be reunited in the joy of God's kingdom. Let us comfort one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. We commend our sister Eleanor to you, Lord. Now that she has passed from this life, may she live on in your presence. In your mercy and love, forgive all the sins she committed through human weakness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Johnny, I need him. Maybe he figured it'd be too weird with Carl here. I don't see what that has to do with anything. Uh, Tracy. Tracy, I have to be going now. I know you do. I'm so sorry. Goodbye. What are you doing here? I'm paying my last respects. Bye, Johnny. Johnny, where have you been? I need to talk to you right away. I thought that with your mother gone, you wouldn't see him anymore. What was I supposed to do, throw him out? You shouldn't have been here. Look, he's my music teacher and a friend of my mother's. Okay, besides, he's gone now, and he's never coming back. What? This is your mother's bedroom. Look, you've got to pull it together. Please, please don't lose it. I need you, Johnny. You know that you're the only one. You are the only one I have got left. You know that. It's okay. It's okay. Tracy, God bless you, child. You know where to reach me if you need me? Yes, I do. Here, let, let me do this. Hello. Where did all this come from? Stuff. Oh, well, take a quick look at it. Yes, this, what's this? I've got a plan for this week. All the details are set. I'm going to do it. Who wrote this? Johnny. He sent it to me last week. Is it important? Well, well, well. I'm going to do it. Mr. Richardson thought that I shouldn't keep anything that was incriminating evidence. Is it incriminating? Get me an arrest warrant, Brando. Come on, Tracy. I'm taking you home now. You see, you were wrong about her. Maybe. Tracy? Come on in. Police found out. What? About Johnny. Mr. Richardson found a note that John wrote to me, and he gave it to the police. 
What did it say? Well, it was bad. Bad for Johnny. Well, why didn't you tell them it was from someone else? I couldn't. Look, he signed it. The cops were putting pressure on me. What would you have done? I wouldn't have turned to my boyfriend, that's for sure. Besides, I mean, he wouldn't have done it on his own. He did it for you. No, don't say that. You don't know what you're talking about. Tracy, you can't fool me anymore. You used him and now you're just trying to throw him away. That's not true. I love him. I do. Come on, Tracy. I see what you do. You're a manipulator. Yeah. That dress fits you perfectly. You're exactly like your mother. Our dream house, isn't it? Oh, Tracy, someday when you're a famous virtuoso, we'll entertain the creme de la creme here. Now, there are rules to be observed in this room. You must never sit on the furniture with dirty clothes. One spot, one scratch could ruin its unblemished perfection. And then nothing would ever be the same again. But here, this is my chair. This is where I'll sit while you play flawlessly. Tracy, sit. Sit at the piano and let me see how you look while you're playing. And you're so beautiful. Play. Play something. Show Mommy how well you can play the new piano. Tracy! The cat! Haven't you heard anything I've said? Cat scratch furniture. I will not allow that cat to destroy the purity of my new house. You keep that out of this room, or I'll kill it. Well, yes, Mommy. John Thompson, you're under arrest for the murder of Eleanor DiCarlo. Do you have the right to remain silent? I'm in trouble, Dad. I'm in big trouble. We'll get through this, son. I got you a fine lawyer. Look, maybe you don't understand what's going on here, John. You've been charged with murder. I did it for Tracy. I had to. I was her knight in shining armor, and I saved her from the dragon. See, Eleanor wanted Tracy to be just like her. And you have no idea what that would have been like. Cops think Tracy might have been in on it with you. Helped you to plan it. No. Listen, man. Tracy was desperate. She already tried to kill herself once. Now, one of them was going to die, and it wasn't going to be Tracy. If there was a conspiracy, and we told the police, it would be a lot easier on you. It could cut down your sentence. I killed her. You know that. 
The cops know that. Everybody knows that. Can't we just leave it there? The police were squeezing her. She didn't know what else to do. Tracy, uh, Tracy loved me right from the beginning. <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> you! I didn't know it would be like this. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm free! <laughs> free! <laughs> Home. John! Stay away from her. It's not an option. It's an order. Johnny, I love you. They told me to stay away from you. But I can't. I won't. They want to break us up, tear us apart. Your mother tried that, but nobody ever will do it. Two of us together forever, right? I'm so glad you love me. Are they asking about me? Sure. There's nothing to tell. I know. Are you protecting Tracy? From what? The Tracy wanted her mother dead. Everybody wants their mother dead when they're a teenager. Did you? I didn't live with my mother. How are you and Tracy getting along at the time of the murder? There were no problems between us except for Eleanor. What was that about? Eleanor was nuts. That's it. She had to control everybody and everything. If she didn't get her way, then... Oh, boy, look out. Someday, Tracy's going to be a virtuoso and play all the great concert halls of the world. We'll be so proud of her. Yes, ma'am. You know, she's begun piano lessons with an Austrian master, Carl Weiss. Unfortunately, he lives 20 miles away, but he is fantastic. I'm sure he is. Maybe you could take her. It would give the two of you a chance to spend more time together. Hmm? Sure. I can see how one could grow very fond of you, Johnny. So I drove Tracy to her lessons once a week for about a year and a half. that better than I do. After about a year, Eleanor changed her tune and her plans for Tracy and me. I'll be so proud when she marries into that family. Mother, Johnny's band is going to be playing at the prom this year. Isn't that nice? And he loves oh, that's song. very cute. But someday, you'll be playing in concert halls with Carl. You'll make your mark on the world. Mother, I wish you would stop talking like that. I mean, I, I don't know if I'm ever going to be good enough Well, for why that. would you say something like that? Because the wise is a sagacious judge of talent, dear, and Carl has chosen you as his protege. It's not for nothing. But why must we always talk about the Weisses? Why can't we talk We're about... not talking about the Weisses. We're talking about you, aren't we, Johnny? Uh, Mrs. DiCarlo, I think you've had too much wine. That's you... right. You go ahead and tell her. John and I have had several heart-to-hearts over the past year, and we know what's best for you. And I appreciate that, but 
Can't we talk about something else? You I mean, are it's giving simple. me a migraine headache. Why must you make things so complicated? But why is this complicated? I mean, Johnny's sitting oh, well, right here. I suppose here. you'd why rather I let you marry someone like him. Mother. Mother, please. No one is talking about getting married, okay? We Just need... stop it. Mother, you are embarrassing me. Who dare you raise your voice to me? you away from me here. Tracy, bring my dessert in the living room, dear. What do you want me to do? I can't let her treat you like this. What are those? Tracy. She's got a headache. I have to give her these pills. I'll put it in her apple cobbler. We can get out of here. We can get in my car. Drive away and never come back right now, tonight. Can't. She'd find me. She'd track me down. She'd kill me. Mother. Thank you, dear. nuts in this. I'm sorry, I forgot. You know I hate nuts. Oh. Perfect ending to this evening. Oh. <sighs> Tell your little friend it's time to go home. I wish he wouldn't come around here anymore. He's a bad influence on you and your music. And he contributes nothing to fine conversation. How many pills did Tracy put in that bowl? How should I know? I couldn't see. Was she trying to kill her mother? Did she ever ask you to kill her mother? Eleanor was ruining our life. It was either her, me, or Tracy. And it wasn't a tough decision. She forced Tracy to sleep with Carl. No mother forces her daughter to sleep with a man. Eleanor did. Are you sleeping with Carl? I've got a right to know. I can't stay with you if you're unfaithful to our love. Tell me! Johnny, stop it! Are you? Johnny! Johnny. And I can't live without you. Help me, Johnny, please. Just help me. What do you want me to do? I don't know. I don't know. I just hurt so damn much. I'll do it. I'll take care of it for you. Johnny.
people promise freedom when you don't have the keys to the cage. It's not fair. Someone had to save her from Eleanor. I had to. But Tracy only slept with Carl that one time. Uh, you're sure? Yeah. She told me so. We believe in telling the truth. Do you recognize this? Yeah, that's Tracy's diary. That's private property. I think you should take a look at it, John. I'm not going to read it. I told you it's private. I'll be outside. Shock coming. She slept with that Carl character 24 times in six months and kept count of everyone. How old is she? Oh, man. I believed her. I killed her mother for her. I did it all for her. Everything she told me to, everything she asked me. It's gonna be all right. It could have been so perfect. Tracy! another night in a cell. Kill myself before I let that happen. Well, I've got you a very good lawyer. I thought my father was coming. He wanted to, but couldn't make it. I see. You've been charged with accessory to murder and conspiracy to murder. Your friend Laura went to the police and said you told her all about it, but uh, John's the key witness against you. I never should have trusted Laura, but I don't know why John is doing this to me. It's called let's make a deal. Gets him a lighter sentence. Do you understand the charge of conspiracy to commit murder? Yes. Did you ever plan with John to kill your mother? No. Did you ever tell him you wanted him to kill her? Did I tell? No. Don't you believe me? Well, it's not a question of belief. It's a question of how we're going to plead. Plead not guilty. I didn't do it. I didn't have anything to do with it. I know, Tracy, but these are your lawyers. They have to explore every option to plan your best defense. I'd like to take you to see a psychiatrist. I don't need a shrink. What is the matter with you people? She's a friend of ours, Tracy. We work with her quite often. You might even like her. The jury won't send me to prison because I am telling the truth. Now, I can't help what John did. I wish I could, but I can't. I, uh, I think we've had enough for today. I'll call you later. Fine. I'm sorry. I'll talk to her. She's tough. I think she's scared. And I think she's innocent. Do you?
Hi, Johnny. Why are you doing this? Don't you love me? Go away. This was going to be our house. We were going to be so happy. There's our music room. There's your electric guitar and my piano. I read your diary. I know what you're doing, and I know exactly how often you were doing it. Hold me, Johnny. I'm all alone now. You're just like your mother. I'm not. Yeah? You're the center of the world, right? You can't come crying to me anymore! He's just like every other man. Men will always disappoint you. They'll always hurt you. And they'll always leave. Get out! Get out! Get out! I was uh, waiting for you. Well, the door was open. I, I hope you don't mind. No, I'm glad you're here. I wanted to see how you were doing. Fine. How'd it go with the lawyer? Uh, I don't know if that's going to work out. How are you holding up? It's hard. Do you want a cup of coffee? Well, oh, I, I just, I can't right now. I'm so late as it is. But I, I really would like to see more of you, if that's okay. I'd like that. Well. They want to send me to a psychiatrist. What for? My lawyer thinks that it would be good for my defense. Oh, well. You know, I mean, if they think it might help, well, maybe you should go along with it. I'll see. So if you, if you need anything, you'll let me know. I will. Thanks for coming by. I have to go. Bye, Daddy. I don't know what I was supposed to feel about my father. What do you mean? My mother hated him so much, but... He seemed like a nice man to me. How did your mother feel about you? How did she... My mother loved me. She loved me. Grandma's house for my birthday dinner. He bought me this goldfish. Isn't he neat? His name is Chucky. Who's old Chucky? You're two hours late. Tracy and I had birthday plans, and now you've ruined them. Why didn't you tell me? Because it's none of your business. Well, then how am I supposed to know? It's not worth discussing with you. We aspire to be with a higher class of people. What are you talking about? You come from a working class family. Your father worked in a factory, for God's sake. My father is a renowned surgeon. Oh, come on now, Al. That's an out and out lie. You can't talk to me that way. I wouldn't allow my daughter to hear such talk. Eleanor, please. I've sacrificed my life for her. But you're destroying her. <gasps> <clears throat>
horrible man. That awful man. Now look what he's done. Look how he's hurt you. Thank God he's not your father. But he is. I'd know who your father was, wouldn't I? Wouldn't I? loves you, you have to worry about not making them angry so they won't change their mind about you. You have to be very careful to do everything right. Hey, how you doing? Fine. Could I see you in my office? Sure. We'll see you later at the cafeteria. Hell of a case. Oh? Sure. Her feelings about her mother just don't make sense. What are you saying? Child abuse is like a time bomb. Eventually, it's going to take its toll. And I'll bet if you did some digging, you'd find out that her mother was an abused child, too. You figured all this out in a few hours? Unfortunately, it's not that uncommon. I bet that Eleanor's drive centered on her need for people to see her as perfect. And she needed her daughter to be the same. It must have been hell for Tracy to keep up. You mean she didn't know whether she was coming or going? She still doesn't. Okay. Try it. No, thank you. good. When I was little, my mother brought me home a chocolate cake for Valentine's Day. Mommy, please. I never said I wanted the whole cake, just a small piece. But I don't want it in the house after today. My stomach hurts. a piece of chocolate cake, you won't make such a pig of yourself. Mm -hmm. The next day, when I got home from school, it wasn't that bad. My mother was teaching me a lesson about temptation. Are you scared about your sentencing today? Have you talked to Tracy? Do you think I'd go see her after what she did to you? I just want to know how she is. I mean, does she ask about me at all? I mean, how does she look? When are you going to wake up? I knew they'd catch me. I just always thought that she'd be there waiting for me when I got out. It hasn't been that easy for me, either. She was my best friend. She was my everything. She still is. John. I guess Eleanor got what she wanted. She broke us up forever. Oh, 
covenant. All rise. The court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Bradley presiding. Be seated. <laughs> The defendant will rise. Have you a statement to make before sentence is passed upon you? A statement? I did it for love. I don't know, was, was I crazy? It's, nothing seems real anymore. And I can't believe I did it. I wish I never met her. No. No, I don't. I, I'm sorry. I, I guess I don't have a statement to make. For the murder of Eleanor DiCarlo, 34 years in state prison. For conspiracy to commit murder, 20 years in state prison. The sentences to run concurrently. he would come today. Come on. Let's go get him. That there is no other choice but for you to conclude that Tracy DiCarlo wanted her mother dead and conspired to have her brutally murdered by her boyfriend, John Thompson. Thank you. Despite the earnestness of the prosecution, this is not an open and shut case. The truth is, there is no real proof that Tracy conspired to commit murder, or even that she wanted her mother dead. This case demands and Tracy DiCarlo deserves your time and your careful consideration. When you discover the truth and cast your not guilty votes accordingly, her freedom will make your efforts worthwhile. In your opinion, was John Thompson the kind of person who would commit murder without being pushed or encouraged by someone else? No way. He'd never have done it alone. She put a spell on him. He would have done anything for Tracy. She made him do it. Objection, speculation, move to strike. Objection overruled. Thank you. Your witness. Laura, did you like Eleanor DiCarlo? Not very much. Objection. Her feelings for the deceased have nothing to do with the case. Mr. Maloney. Would you please confine your question to the matter at hand? Did you ever witness Eleanor DiCarlo being abusive towards her daughter? Um, well, maybe. Objection. Mr. Maletti seems to think the deceased is on trial here. Sustain. Did Tracy ever tell you that her mother was abusive towards her? Objection. Irrelevant. Sustain. No further questions. Mm. Call John Thompson to the stand. So I twisted the stocking tighter, and it took about 20 minutes for her to die. 
Why did you kill Eleanor DiCarlo? For Tracy. She asked you to do it? No. No, she begged me. Have your feelings toward her changed? Yes. What are they today? They're dead. My feelings are dead. Isn't it true that in exchange for your testimony here today, your sentence was reduced by half? Yeah. And that after only four years, you can appeal to the Board of Pardons to have that sentence reduced even further? I believe so. Did you ever tell Tracy that you considered her mother unstable? Yeah. That you considered her self-centered and controlling, someone who tried to interfere in every aspect of Tracy's life? Yes. Did this make you angry? Yes, it did. Did it make Tracy angry? Yes, but she didn't think she could do anything about it. <clears throat> so, you murdered Eleanor because of your love for Tracy? Yeah. I would have done anything she asked me to. If she asked you to jump off the Brooklyn Bridge, would you have done that? No. There'd be no point to that. But she asked you to kill her mother, and you did that. Yes. Eleanor was killing everything that was natural inside of her. I did it to keep our love alive. No further questions. <laughs> Your only crime is the bad fortune to have drawn a crazy, jealous boyfriend and an insane, abusive mother in the same hand. You've been punished long enough for that, but you are the only one who can tell your story to the jury. We've got to convince them that John acted alone, because you weren't able to act at all. Do you think you can do that? Maybe. I just didn't try hard enough. I wasn't good enough. Tracy, you still have six more minutes to practice. But I want to go out with Laura. Don't use words like wanna. It makes you sound common. Yes, Molly. Tracy, six more minutes, young lady, and I believe that composer could use it. is back in session. Mr. Maletti, you may continue. The defense calls Tracy DiCarlo. Quiet, please. Raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Tracy, how did you feel about your mother? M what do you mean? Did you love her? Well, I mean it. Would you speak up, please, so the jury can hear you? <clears throat> I'm sorry. What were your feelings towards your mother? At 
times I really loved her. And at other times? I was afraid of her. Did you ever conspire with John Thompson to kill your mother? No. Did you ever try to kill her by yourself? No. What about the time you emptied the prescription medicine into her dessert? Why did you do that? She had a headache, and she hated taking her pills, so I put some in her apple cobbler, and I hoped that she wouldn't notice. John Thompson told the court that you emptied the entire bottle into her bowl. Yes, I did, but there were only two pills left in the bottle. I guess he couldn't see exactly what I was doing. Or he was lying. Objection. Speculation. Sustained. Mr. Maletti, save your conclusions for the summation. Did your mother often get violent headaches? Yes. When I was bad. And when you were good? She didn't get headaches. And what did being good mean? It meant... doing exactly what she wanted me to do. And doing it exactly. She wanted you to be a famous pianist? Yes. And what did you want? I don't know. I don't know. Wrong. 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 Stop it. Try that piece again, Miss O'Donnell. Mommy wants you to have everything she never had because she loves you so much. Did your mother often hit you in public? Objection, irrelevant. Of what use is this line of questioning? I was wondering that myself. May we approach? Yes. Your Honor, my client has been battered and beaten. What, are you planning to change your plea to self-defense? Mr. Stevens. Guilty by reason of insanity? Mr. Stevens. It is essential to my case that the jury understand Eleanor DiCarlo. To what end if you're not going to change your plea to guilty? You're presenting mitigating evidence. If Tracy had pled guilty by reason of insanity, well then fine, go ahead and tell us about her abusive mother, but you cannot have it both ways. The abuse left her incapable of any action. Eleanor DiCarlo is not on trial here. She's the victim, for God's sake. Is she? Oh, come on, Jake. Gentlemen, please. It's too much latitude. This whole line of investigation is irrelevant unless she changes her plea to guilty. Gentlemen, I think we should take a break. I'll give you my decision when we get back. You know, everybody was always so afraid to confront your mother and take her on. She was mean and vicious. I don't know why she, why she acted like that. I don't know what was wrong with her, why she treated you the way she did. It's okay to cry, you know. Like something is stuck right here. Tracy, they want you inside. The court will allow Mr. Maletti to pursue his line of questioning. And what reason did your mother give you for the breakup of her marriage? She told me that it was my fault. I see. What about your father, James DiCarlo? How did he treat you? He was good to me, but my mother didn't want me to see him after they were divorced. She said that he wasn't good enough for us and that he wasn't my real father. And did she tell you who your real father was? Sit still. I want you to look pretty today for the Archbishop. But I'm supposed to go see Daddy today. You are going to see your father. The Archbishop is my godfather. He's not my real father. 
Now, don't tell me that you've never noticed the resemblance between your face and the Archbishop's. Of course you have. That's your father. You lucky girl. But no one must ever know the truth except us. It's going to be our secret. Do you understand? Promise. You must promise. I promise. Do you realize what you're saying? Your mother told you that a priest, I mean an archbishop, was your real father. Yes. Did you believe her? It was hard not to believe her. Are you religious? Yes, sir, I'm a Catholic. And your mother told you that an archbishop was your real father. Yes. The Catholic Diocese has done a full investigation into this matter. There is not a shred of evidence to substantiate Eleanor DiCarlo's claim. She tortured her daughter with lies. Objection. There is nothing to support that the lies were torturous. Objection overruled. Tracy, do you know who your real father is? Yes, I do now. How's your food? It's good. You know, in spite of everything, you were always the sweetest little girl. Everybody just loved you. <laughs> they did? Yeah. They did. Why... Um, why didn't you take me with you when I was little? I wanted to. I tried to. I, I couldn't beat your mother in court. She put up a hell of a fight for you. But I did want you. You did? Yes, I did. But she wanted you all to herself. I'm sorry, Tracy. I can't make up for the past. But I'm here for you right now. I know. Dad. Was your mother a difficult person to please? You could say she had very high standards. Impossibly high standards. Was it difficult to live up to them? It was more than difficult. She wanted me to be perfect, but... I wasn't. But you tried. Yes. You tried very hard, didn't you, Tracy? Yes. But it was impossible. I... I could never be... a good enough pianist. Or... a smart enough student. Be pretty enough or... thin enough. I just... wanted to disappear forever. When you were 15, you tried to kill yourself? I took some of my mother's pills. Thought it was the only way I could make my mother happy. Why? She was so unhappy because I wasn't perfect. I wanted it all to be over. No more piano. No more beatings. I wanted a big black cloud to swallow me up. I wanted to die. What 
What's going on here? Why won't anyone talk to me? I don't have time for this. What is the problem? Helena, Tracy's tried to kill herself with some of your antidepressants. Why? Why would she do this to me? Helena. We don't need you here. What are you talking about? You've ruined my life. Isn't that enough for you? I didn't ruin your life. I never wanted to have her in the first place. You tricked me. I had you. I didn't need a baby to make my life more miserable. The next time you try something like this, you'd better take the whole damn bottle, or I'll shove it down your throat myself. All right, that's enough. Let go, go of me. Oh, oh, you animal. I need a doctor Eleanor, now. Eleanor, it's nothing. It's not nothing. Let me take a look I at it. I want a doctor. Get out. I told you. Oh, doctor, about time you got here. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 oh, Tracy. Tracy. Tracy, Mommy's here. Everything's going to be all right. Mommy loves you. Mommy loves you. Everything's going to be all right. Shh. Mommy's here. Everything's going to be all right. Shh. Why do you think your mother behaved like that in the hospital? <laughs> I told you I was... I was getting her upset. But you were the patient. Why were you so concerned with your mother's condition? Because I wanted her to be happy. Why? I don't... I don't know. I guess I liked... I liked it better when she was happy. Then she loved me. But Tracy... That isn't love. Whenever she hit me, and whenever she did, I thought it was because she loved me. I mean, that's what she told me over and over again. She said she loved me. Did she? Did she love you, Tracy? How come she didn't love me? What did I do that was so bad? I loved her. So, it comes down to only this. Did Tracy try to kill her mother? Was there a conspiracy between John Thompson and Tracy DiCarlo to murder Eleanor DiCarlo? This is a sad and tragic case. But the law must apply. Abuse, no matter how horrible, does not excuse conspiracy to murder. It might explain it and mitigate it, but it has no bearing on this case. The facts are all that matters. Who's telling the truth? Was there a conspiracy or wasn't there? Decide this case on the basis of the evidence. Thank you. The prosecution wants you to decide this case based on the facts. But how desperate does someone have to be to convict this girl based on that kind of evidence? Eleanor DiCarlo lived in a world of her own devising. Eleanor DiCarlo's home was a concentration camp in which she was sole commandant and guard, and her daughter Tracy was her helpless prisoner. Tracy relied totally on the goodwill of her mother because if she didn't, she was subjected to Eleanor's horrible mental and physical abuse. She was trapped. How did she cope? How did she cope? She cut off her feelings. She couldn't even register them appropriately. 
She was brainwashed. She was like a shell-shocked war veteran who'd spent too much time on the front line. She was alone. She built a wall between herself and her feelings in her own house. The house she lived in with her mother. How could she have planned a murder? She was already the victim. She couldn't even feel love or hate. Her feelings were frozen. They had to be in order for her to survive. What this girl has suffered. Tracy DiCarlo's soul was murdered. Ladies and gentlemen, please give Tracy a chance. She's already served a sentence. A life sentence. Don't send her to yet another prison. Isn't it time? Time to stop the abuse? Tracy DiCarlo. <clears throat> Be seated. Has the jury reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. The defendant will rise and face the court. As to count one of the indictment, accessory to murder, how do you find? Not guilty. As to count two, conspiracy to murder, how do you find? We're deadlocked. We're unable to reach a verdict on that charge. Order in the court. Tracy DiCarlo, you stand acquitted of the charge, accessory to murder. But this court declares a mistrial to the charge of conspiracy and will file the appropriate papers. The jury is dismissed. Thank you for your service. This court is adjourned. I feel sorry for her. I feel pity for her. And I should be the last person to feel pity for anyone. But it was the only way for her. It was the only way out. I just hope she makes it.